Hi, I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about some helpful hints I think will help you to succeed in your college math course. Um, math in college is one of the biggest hurdles students face. It is one of the biggest reasons why students do not complete their degrees and it is a very big reason that many people choose not to go back to school. So I would like uh, just to talk about some general topics that I feel you should be aware of as you enter into your college math class. Okay, so number one, my very first and probably most important tip is to go to class. You have to be in attendance and this seems like something that's really obvious and I really shouldn't have to explain it, but I will. Um, well, especially for math, math is a cumulative topic. Um, once you cover and learn something, it is going to show up again and again and again throughout the semester. Um, math is not one of those classes that you learn something and then you never return to it. We are building skills and all these skills work together the further you go. So you really want to hear these topics as they're presented in class and learn them when you should be learning them. Um, and second, the other point I wanted to make about attending class is you paid for this course. Um, many, many, many students pay out of pocket for these courses. And even if you personally did not use your own cash to pay for college if you're on a scholarship or financial aid somebody somewhere is paying for you to be in this class you should be there okay you make your schedule at the beginning of the semester you know when and where you are expected to be college is where we come to begin our professional careers it is where we learn about our professional careers and you really need to make every effort to begin acting professionally as soon as possible. And if you're not going to show up to your job, you're not going to have a job. And if you're not going to show up to class, you're not going to learn enough to complete the course and get your degree. So go to class. Probably the most important thing to being successful in a college math class. My second hint is to be on time. This is very important. Many instructors will set aside a few minutes for announcements at the beginning of class. This doesn't mean you can take a few extra minutes and stop at Starbucks. Um, they're talking about really important information that you need to hear it. It's being successful in college is not just the coursework. It is um, making sure you are where you're supposed to be you're learning the things that you're supposed to do, and you're turning in the things that you need to. Um, and at the beginning of class is, for a lot of instructors, the time that they're going to tell you about due dates and rescheduling and uh, anything else that might be important for your course. So you really do need to hear it. Um, personally, if I don't have an, an, any announcements as an instructor, I often will take a five, ten minute period at the beginning of class to just um, either answer homework questions or re-clarify on um, points that I feel are going to be important. Um, either way, I always begin speaking at the hour. If my class starts at nine o'clock in the morning, I am speaking at nine o'clock in the morning. And really, you should be there ready to learn at nine o'clock. Class beginning at 9 does not mean you're walking in at 9. It means you are at your desk, prepared um, with all uh, the materials you need for class that day, ready to go. Okay? So number three, since we're in class and on time, it is very important that you actually listen. You cannot learn from your instructor if you're not listening. Um, I realize that for many, many people, math is a very dry topic. It, it, it can get boring and frustrating very quickly for a lot of people. But one of the things about college is that you need to focus. And 
it doesn't matter if you're not going to be a math major at this point in your academic career you are being asked to learn these topics so you should be you should learn now to avoid distractions um, <clears throat> If your friends are a distraction, don't sit with your friends. If your phone is a distraction, turn your phone off. Keep it in your bag. If your headphones are a distraction, take your headphones out. Just like you would expect your doctor to be paying 100% attention to what you're, he's doing to you in a surgery, um, you need to be paying attention while you're in college. It's not just... In math, I mean, that's for all of your classes. This is your time to learn and develop your skill sets. And you're not going to do that if you're actively avoiding what's happening in class. Number four is to ask questions. If you don't understand something, ask. That is what your instructor is there for, and that is why they are getting paid. They're there to teach you this information, and they cannot do that if you are not asking questions <clears throat> okay i personally encourage my students to ask questions as they occur if i'm working through an example problem and i do a step that somebody doesn't understand i expect that person to stop me and ask me why i've done it um generally if you have a question somebody else in the classroom has the exact same question so ask it if not for yourself for everybody. Um, I do realize that there are some instructors that are not as encouraging to discussion in class. Um, I've never really encountered that in a math class, uh, at least at the undergraduate level I haven't. Um, but if you can't do that, take some time before class to try to meet with your instructor try to catch them a few minutes after class if that's not possible if you have a class or they have a class immediately following but you know you have questions um seek them out in their office every instructor uh, has office hours you can make appointments with them to sit down and recover any questions that you may not have fully understood in class um, or you can ask them to expand on any of this information. Office hours exist for a reason. That is why your instructor is being paid. Ask your questions. That is where learning is really on you. I can repeat information over and over and over and over and over, but if you're not asking me questions, I'm probably repeating the wrong information. So ask if the first time I didn't explain it, maybe you'll understand it the second time. Maybe you'll understand it the third time. It may be that you understand it the 50th time you've had it explained to you. As an instructor, I don't care. Ask me that question 50 times. I will not allow it in class after a certain point. We will make time outside of class, but I want these questions. I want to make sure that you're comfortable progressing uh, with the rest of the material okay so number five kind of the same thing listen to the questions from the other students um, they may have a question about something that could hinder you later so um, take every question in class and treat it as if it was your own question they, they may be pointing out something that was going to catch you up um, during the homework and Instead of getting stuck, you've already listened to an explanation from it. Um, so listen to everybody's questions. They're all valid. Nobody asks stupid questions. So learn not only from your instructor, but from the thinking processes of your other students. Okay. Number six is take notes. Take notes during class. If I'm writing something down, then you should be writing something down. Um, and <clears throat> I'm not going to take time out of class to do any sort of example problem that I don't care about or I don't think that it's important for you to know. And generally, my example problems are what I'm looking at when I go through and make reviews and exams because 
that is what I talked about in class. Okay, I, I <clears throat> it's totally important to be writing notes down. But it's not enough to just write stuff down. You can't just replicate the question that's on the board. Um, you have to add in little details. Every instructor, as they're working through a problem, talks their way through it. And you need to be making little notes on the side to yourself on why these things are happening or why the instructor made this decision at a certain step. Um, <clears throat> and really, if you can get in the habit of marking down uh, those extra little notes around uh, a homework problem, it really helps when you're reviewing your notes later. Which brings me to number seven. Use and review your notes. Um, they exist for a reason. Um, as an instructor, I try to make sure I give you enough examples to help you complete the entire homework. Um, I may not do every single problem directly, but I try to make sure I cover every single situation that uh, you're going to be addressing. Um, so use your notes. Try to make those extra notes around your math problems on why things are happening and when they're happening and why those decisions were made. Because when you reread your notes, you have all that extra little information and you're not just looking at a bunch of numbers. Um, you know, reread them before class. Resolidify the topics that you learned previously uh, before you get to the next class. Review your notes after class. You, you know, this is your time to kind of be solidifying the information in your brain. Um, also, if um, you use a tutor, having really good notes uh, can really make their job a lot easier because then they can see exactly what your instructor expects from you. Number eight on my helpful hints to survive math in college is do the homework. And it's going to come as a shock to a lot of people that just because you're in a math class doesn't mean your instructor is going to pick up your homework and give you a grade for it. There are a lot of instructors in college that do not give homework grades. That does not mean the homework is optional. The homework is where you are personally developing the skills they expect you to know for an exam. Um, so it is essential for you to do the homework even if you're not getting active credit for it in class. Do the homework, because if you're doing the homework, you're going to be able to do the tests. You're going to figure out what you don't understand. You're going to know what you need help with. You're going to know how to ask questions, and you're better prepared before the exam comes up. So do the homework. If you have to give yourself extra homework problems, do it. If you have to do every single question in the back of the section of a textbook, then do every single question. Do enough problems until you feel comfortable enough to do the topic. Homework is not something that you produce and turn in and then never readdress. Um, that is for you to know whether or not you can do the problems. So if you need to do extra homework, if you have to ask your instructor or seek out other outside resources to find example problems, do so. Um, having the internet, you have access to so many example problems and so many different videos of people working similar questions and so many resources that will generate questions for you to work on, like Khan Academy. So, um, do the homework. Seek out extra work if you feel like you don't understand a topic. Um, it's there for a reason, and it's important. Number nine on my helpful hints to how to survive college is get help. If the homework is a struggle, get help. Um, look for a tutor. Seek out an appointment with your instructor. Um, a lot of colleges have resources where you can go to a, a, a class or a, a center, a location on campus where tutoring is available to you for free. Um, take advantage of that if you have access to something like that. Um, most schools have some type of resource to help you uh, 
be successful in your class. Seek them out, learn about them, use them. Um, <coughs> you know, why are you going to pay 40 to $50 for a college tutor when a lot of times your college is actually providing them to you already? Um, so learn about those resources. If you have to seek out a tutor, then seek out a tutor. If you have to pay one out of pocket, I apologize, but it'll help you get through the class. If you get through the class, um, you're that much closer to getting your degree. So seek out help when you need to. Also, don't wait weeks to get help. If you have a question, don't wait till the day before an exam to seek out help. That's the wrong time for it. it generally, that's a skill you should have already, you know, not necessarily mastered, but at least gotten to a point where you're comfortable seeing. So get help when you need it. And finally, the last one on my list of how to be successful in math is to have a good attitude. Um, there's no such thing as a math person. Uh, if you believe you can't learn something, guess what? You're not going to. You have to try. Um, and actually try. Not sit there and stare at a paper without ever picking up a pencil or going in and trying to take an exam without ever having addressing the homework. Um, make every effort in this class. Um, Make mistakes. That's okay. You're going to make mistakes. It's math. Everybody makes mistakes. This is where the learning happens. And this is where your brain grows. If you're not making mistakes, I feel like you're probably not doing enough homework or something. But it is important to have a good attitude. You have to know that there is nothing coming up in your math class that you can't learn without enough practice.